1000 mils needs to be infused over eight hours. What is the infusion rate if you use a volumetric pump? So a lot of things here. First, this is not one of our box method or formula method questions for a start because we only have two quantities, not three, as we usually do with the box or the formula. And it's to be infused. So this is an infusion rate type question. But this one is very specific because it's talking about a pump. So we need to remember that when using a pump, the answer will always need to come out as mils per hour. That slash is the same as a fraction line, mils per hour. So that should always help us even remember how to, to actually calculate this. We get the volume that has been given to us, 1000 mils in this case. This is how much we want to infuse. Note that I always write my units in. And then over, in mathematics, over is, well, in everything, over is sitting over on the top, but in mathematics it will mean divided by, so 1000 mils to be infused over eight hours. So because I know that a volumetric pump or just a pump will always need to give me the answer uh, in mils per hour, that means I won't change anything here. I won't change the hours. I'll leave them like that. And all I need to do is work out the numbers. So for a quick estimate, 1000 divided by 8. 8 is a nice number because it's a multiple of 2. It's family of 2. If we divide uh, 1000 by 2, we get 500. If we divide it by 2 again, we get 250. So far, we have divided by 4. If we divide this by 2 again, we get 125. And then we would have divided by 2, 4, 8. So this is just a mental calculation that we can do. If we wanted to estimate without actually doing the, the real calc like this, we could change that 8 to a 10 and say we have 1000 mils divided by 10 hours, just an estimate, not the full answer. So what happens here? Well, how many 10s into 1000? 100. Cancel the zeros off. So our estimate would be 100 mils. Here we got 125 and here we got 100. It's no problem, but you need to be doing your estimate in your head because in the end, your final answer has to be the accurate one done with your calculator or done uh, even mentally. But the estimation is there to help you check if the size of your answer is good. So maybe let's use the calculator, 1000 divided by eight, or we don't need, we did it on the bottom here in black. Um, 125 watt mils per hour, which we usually write 125 mils per hour. We could use the word per, P-E-R as well if we wanted. 125 mils per hour. It's all correct. The important thing here is the meaning. So the big lesson here then for us is to just think that if we are talking about uh, infusion using a pump, we will always use our volume in milliliters divided by the time in hours, and then the answer will come out as mils per 